So this video is to review the types of mixtures, heterogeneous and homogeneous. So what is a mixture? A mixture is made up of different substances, such as elements, compounds, or both. And these substances are not chemically bonded. So let's go over homogeneous mixtures first. Um, homogeneous mixtures are blended together so that they look the same everywhere. Um, they are uniform in appearance. Uh, examples are cake batter, salt water, and lemony. So when we look at this example that we have here, um, we have particles that are evenly distributed and they form a pattern. And so it looks like if you were to grab a sample of any part, the sample would look relatively the same. Now let's look at heterogeneous mixtures. These mixtures are easy to see and easy, separate, and easy to separate the different parts. So they have a non-uniform composition. The particles are not evenly distributed. So this means if I were to grab a sample, let's say in the example that we have here in the picture, if I were to grab it, each sample would look different and not have an even distribution of particles. Some examples are salad, granite, and cereal. Now, when we're talking about separation, we mean that we can put it into its individual types. So homogeneous mixtures, the ones that are more uniform in composition are harder to separate. Heterogeneous mixtures can often be separated by hand or simple methods. Simple te techniques like filtration, distillation, or evaporation can be used to separate different mixtures. So let's practice identifying whether something is homogeneous or a heterogeneous mixture. So here we have a salad. So do you think it's homogeneous or heterogeneous? In this case, the salad is a heterogeneous mixture because I can easily see the different parts and it is very easy to separate and it is not uniform without, uh, throughout. The next we have cake batter. So is this cake batter homogeneous or heterogeneous? In this case, the cake batter is homogeneous. We can easily see that it is uniform throughout. So if we were to grab a sample of any piece, it would be the same. So cake batter is homogeneous. How about lemonade? Is lemonade homogeneous or heterogeneous? So lemonade is homogeneous. It is uniform throughout, as we can see. What about some trail mix here? Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? It is heterogeneous. We can easily see those pieces and we could easily separate those particles or those uh, nuts and berries that are in the trail mix. So here we're looking at particles. So are these particles homogeneous or heterogeneous? These particles are homogeneous. As you can see, they're pretty uniform throughout. They're kind of forming a pattern. And if we were to select a sample, our samples would mostly be the same. So are these particles homogeneous or heterogeneous? They are heterogeneous. Um, as you can see, they are not uniformly distributed and we have big chunks of each type in different places. So here we have a sample of sugar and water. Is this homogeneous or heterogeneous? This sample is homogeneous. Uh, we have an even, distributed, uh, even distribution here of sugar and water, and it kind of forms a pattern in this particular sample. Okay, are these molecules homogeneous or heterogeneous? They are heterogeneous. Um, it is not uniform or it does not form much of a pattern. We have one type of molecule throughout the outside and then we have a big concentration of another type in the center there. So let's review. Homogeneous mixtures are blended together. They're uniform in appearance. They create a clear pattern that seems to repeat and examples are cake batter, salt water, and lemonade. 
heterogeneous mixtures are easy to see and separate. They're non-uniform in composition. Uh, the particles are not evenly dis distributed. Um, examples are salad, granite, and cereal. So I hope this helps you uh, remember the difference between homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures.